besides Sasha. Okay, thank you. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I think we're live. If we're not, we'll be live at some point, and you'll hear me start talking. <laughs> In the middle of a sentence, maybe. I was just about to start up Gray Area. That's not what we're streaming today. We're playing Tales Adventures. You ready for more Tales Adventures, Beth? You ready to potentially look up a guide for me? <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny noise. From a funny fairy. Why are we getting, why are we getting terrible bit rates? I like terrible bit rates. We're dropping funny. a lot of frames. Mm. No What's more going frames. On? No more bit rates. Soon we'll all be pixels. Yeah. Okay, I think it's good. Time for Game Gear. Apparently they just updated this game. Oh, and like, really? fixed the Game Gear games. I didn't realize there were issues with them. Oh yeah, the sound was garbage. <laughs> the sound was absolute TRASH! Oh, you wouldn't no. hear because your, your stream setup is stupid the, and bad. Uh, the internet's still... spumbleizing. Oh. I'm not sure why. Oh, you have to change it in the settings to not be bad. What do you mean? Great. Yeah, you have to set the sound to mono in the settings. Where are those settings? I don't know. Maybe it's just the settings for the entire game? Wait, can I show you? Wait, so wait. Uh-huh. So, the game... Get the Game Gear the game sound gear... to mono. There you go. What, why was this? Why was it ever different than this? I don't know. <laughs> why did they do it like that? I don't know, Biss. Why did they make the sound bad, Elena? I do, I didn't do. It. I don't Elena, know why did you make you? the sound bad? I didn't. Nothing. <laughs> Elena, why does Sega keep hiring you? Sega has never hired me, Biz. Oh yeah, I have to load save state. There you go, load that there save state, Elena. Feels really took a tumble there, did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> if you walk off a ledge, he goes... The boy for us. Oh, I'm sure Elena will have fun. <laughs> I will make sure of it, Shiny. Holly Mount 1. Yeah, I don't know what to do now. Maybe you have to go back to some previous areas of your new abilities. I don't have any... Well, the, I, have, I went back to the first area because I have new abilities for that, but I don't... I don't have anything new for this level, for instance. This is where I got most of these abilities. <laughs> I think we're okay, gonna need the guide yeah. already, Beth. Okay, also, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to restart the stream because this bit rate thing is un untenable. Okay. Okay. 
still bad. In fact, if anything, it's worse now. Great. Wow. Yeah, I have no idea what to do. Whatsoever. Okay, so... You've played through Volcanic Tunnel, right? And I went to Polly Mountain Glen. I got some stuff so that I could come back and do more things here in the forest. It didn't get me anywhere new to go to. Have you fought the boss of uh, Mount Poloi? You mean the Poloi forest? I mean, I mean volcanic tunnel, sorry. Well, there was no boss there. Oh, okay, so... Okay, I'm gonna read well, the Poloi. The stream is just absolutely suffering. When this is Poloi Mountain. Okay, let me read- wait. Oh, Poly Mountain. Okay, Poly Mountain. I don't know why they have such similar names. Okay, I'm gonna have to like restart my computer or something because this is not working. Oh, okay. Or at least okay. restart OBS. Okay, we're back. If you're watching on YouTube, I will have spliced this, so there will be no delay. They don't really need to do a whole new intro or anything. Are you looking into that Oh monster? no! The backwards forwards car! Oh. <laughs> Let's go back to where we started. Get on a good a good footing. So we did Poloi Forest, Volcanic Tunnel, and Poly Mountain One. And I only fought a boss fight in Poloi Forest. So what's the, uh... What's the guide saying? Okay, so Poloi Mountain 1, right? Poly Mountain 1. Poloi Mountain 1. In the you gotta beginning, say it right, only... or I'm not gonna know what you're talking about. I'm gonna think you're talking about the forest. Poloi Mountain 1. <laughs> In the beginning, there is only one way to go. On your way, you will find an item behind a stone wall, which you can't reach yet. None of the items you've collected so far can help you here! So continue on until the wind has blown you up. You are standing outside! That's in quotes. It's a mountain. <laughs> From this point, you have two ways to go. Either up or down. By destroying the stone block! First of all, go up and collect your next item. The helmet. Okay, I did that. Continue upwards. There is only one way to go. And exit to the next area. In this section, in part two. In this section, jump to the next platform. Then simply fall down. If you continue upright, you'll see another item which you can't reach yet. Destroy the stone floor and go down. You will pass some bridges that will break as you walk on them. Do not fall from here, from the first or second bridge. Instead, fall through the third! A wind blows you upwards, and if you continue up left, you will get to an item which you couldn't reach in the beginning of this part. The Knuckles! Okay, As I got you have knuckles. taken this item, go straight right and destroy a stone wall and simply fall down. You are now back on the map, but no new zone has opened. Now go back into the mountain. And this time, take the other way down! Okay, well that's the enough, in that's, that's enough info. Leave me now. Yo, Ice Smith. Stuff's Hello. fine, I think. We had some we had some technical issues at the beginning of the stream, but otherwise, we are good to go now. Is this That's the awesome. upward path? You're gonna be looking for downward paths constantly. Well, you told you where the downward path was. Tiny said something about, um, 
this game, uh, or that they fixed the aspect ratio on Game Gear games? Was it wrong before? Yeah, apparently. I noticed from my footage that the f that the pixels are really fuzzy. They don't seem to be fuzzy anymore. So that's something. Yeah. They also removed the blurring on uh, the rest of the games, I think. It might be an option still, but... Oh. This must be the downward path. Maybe. Going up now. Did I, did I mess it up? I don't know. Figure it out. I'm gonna figure you out in just a minute. Why well, do you only have 15 rings? I have 13 rings. You only have 13 rings, Elena. Yeah, I know. So... I love the sprite of the, the cuckoos being exploded. It looks <laughs> funny. It looks funny. And if I looks funny. You do. Oh, and here I was trying to look nice and pretty. You can do both. Me and pretty girl. I mean, you are. But you're also oh, okay, funny. Okay, thank you. I don't remember any of this, so I think this must be the, op the other path. Good. Also, you only have nine rings, be careful. I... Death. Okay, this is the least helpful enough. thing that you can possibly be saying. <laughs> if you want to get strangled I... like Homer strangles Bart, that's the way to get that. But I've recently been on a management course, and this is apparently how you manage people. What? Yeah. Excuse me? Yeah, so you manage people. And why have you been on a management course? Uh, because I think it promoted me at work. Oh, they are? No, I made that up. But I've been on a management oh. course. Um, and apparently if you just point out things, that's management. Oh. Why have you been yeah. doing this management course, then? I mean, I think you... <laughs> um, so I can manage things better. Manage what? People. What people? I look at like how well I'm matching you right now. I've told you so many things. You're pooping my whole butt off, is what you're doing. You only have seven rings. You Biz, better be careful I'm gonna kick you off this damn stream. Also, you might not want to fall into pits next time. Biss, I'm going to ruin six rings. My pants. If you do that, you need to pay for some new ones. It'll come out your wages. I don't have any wages. <laughs> Not with that, you dumb. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> There's a Weber in the chat. Oh, it's disgusting. I hate Weber. Weber, you fucking Weber, die. Weber, 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 you double, triple Weber. I was going to say I was going to ruin your life, but instead I decided to say I was going to ruin my pants. Because that's always my bet, as I am play. Are you shit? Uh, yeah. You only have one- you're- oh, you only- oh, you're dead. But wow, it's really hard to manage you. Stuff changes so quickly. so much. I've literally watched her a few times a day and just she's taking a nap and then she wakes up and barks. 
And then goes Get and looks out the window. Kiki, Get and, a no. dream while you were cheating. It was nice earlier. She came and sat on my lap and sat with me quietly. Well, that's nice. Yeah. She's normally such a, such a calm and relaxed dog. Which is nice because it's I get I get along with dogs best when they're nice and calm, and mild mannered. Yeah. Really energetic dogs are a bit much for me. Oh. But when they're nice and calm. Then, uh, we get along well. Because <laughs> I'm also, uh, um... <laughs> Shy. And quiet. Shout so... Uh, sh shout out to beloved Pokemon trading card game artist, uh, Tomokazu Tomaya. What about them? Oh, that's just a good art. I just, I just thought something that deserved a bit of recognition. <laughs> Also, Shan's here. Whoa! Our good pal Shan is here. Holy shit, it's Shan Dai Dan 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 It's Shan Dan Dory! Oh my god. Does Shan like Pikmin? I hope so. Pikmin feels like something that Shan could either really like or be middling on. <laughs> Hell yeah! I mean, it does have bugs in it. It has bread bugs. <laughs> Imagine being like a normal bread bug. I am literally a giant <laughs> bread bug, bro. <laughs> you literally look like a foreskin. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm just gonna swallow you whole now. <laughs> <laughs> I love. <laughs> was so stupid. Oh god, it has like it has like weirdly similar energy to me to the like guys. Which one is your favorite? <laughs> that kid is a legend. Guys, uh, guys, which one is your favorite? Um, Huggy Wuggy, Seek Scary Blue. Um. I think I always forget some. It's blue, and then does it go straight to Ban Ban or is it in the middle? I think it's Ban Ban. Okay. Guys, which one is your favorite? Huggy Wuggy Seek Scary Blue? Ban Ban? Nab Nab? Uh, I forgot his name, like Frog Guy. Um. I think Bambolina was in there before the frog dude. Slow Celine? Bambolina? Stinger Flynn? Uh, awesome Huggy Wuggy! Blue- uh, this is me, but I don't want to use it. Um... <laughs> Kissy Missy? Killy Wiggy? Oh, no, Killy, Willy. Killy Willy. Killy Willy. Choo Choo Charles! <laughs> That's the one that always gets me, is the Charles. That's like choo -choo real Charles. child -ish. Uh, Choo Choo Charles! Uh, Boxy Boo, but like not evil. And then you got evil Boxy Boo. Mm! I kind of heard she said you hated this. I hate it. Like, put it all the time. Just everything they say is quotable. Look at this fucking anime duck. It has got some whack ass characters. If only it had some whack ass work shifts. Know what I'm saying? Wacky workbench. Yeah. Give me an owl wrench. Give me a quarter wrench. We're gonna work that sucker to death, huh? We're gonna Give suck me an that owl worker wrench. To death. Give me a quarter wrench. Yeah. We're oh. gonna suck that worker to death. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Marxist porn. Somebody's into marks that way, I'm sure. Well, if we're talking about Kirby, then I know that. 
One thing I always remember when I think of Marx is I remember this Tumblr post where, like, somebody was talking about the fact that, like, I think it was Engels or somebody. Engels was, like, a guy who, like, like, Marx didn't make much money with his books, right? So he was kind of, kind of... It would. So apparently a guy called, uh, like, Engels paid for, like, his him to keep living and stuff, right? And Marx kind of just constantly sort of, like, begged for more or whatever or something, apparently, right? <laughs> and it was just this, t this post talking about, like, the time that Engels' his fucking wa like, wife had died, right? And he, like, po he, like, sent a letter to Marx or whatever to talk about his grief. And Marx basically, like, was like, yeah, that's really sad. Everybody loved her. Can I have some more money, by the way? <laughs> it's just like... To Karl Marx's yeah. a P was a pathetic meow meow. <laughs> it was a pathetic meow yeah, meow. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Shan, you missed this game last time. It's got ducks in it. I was upset that you that you missed them. But now you're here and you get to see them. That's a that's a new famous Elena quote for you. Karl Marx was the pathetic meow meow. <laughs> also, I learned something funny about the concept of social Darwinism recently, because you know, yeah. they they love Charles Darwin and and unholist ideas and everything, right? Yeah. Um, but apparently Charles Darwin himself wrote that, um, like, with intelligence comes, like, escaping from, uh, natural selection, and it leads to cooperation and everybody working towards the goals of everyone else. Yeah. Instead of just whoever's the most fit survives. That's so, like the thing- So even Darwin thing... recognized the difference. That's basically the thing with conservatives, is they're just like... They don't, they don't, they don't, they, 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 they seem to have this weird thing, right? Uh-huh. Where they don't like any of the things that actually work for humanity, right? Because <laughs> it's like humanity They like the things got... that make them feel cool. Superior. Yeah, but not the actual things that get you there. Uh-huh. They sit on the shoulders of giants and take a little dump. Like a little poopy. Little poopy. Little one, little poopy. I recommended Bob Psycho 100 to somebody at work yesterday. It was a I customer see. who was talking. A customer was talking to like one of my colleagues about like anime recommendations and stuff, and they were like obviously like annoying me, right? So I can't recommend anything that isn't on Netflix. Um, Spy X Family. So I didn't think of that. Also, I don't know if it's any good. I've never actually seen. Spy it X Family is great. I, I, I mean, anime. I know you like it. It's just I can't give a personal recommendation. Is that fair? Um. Shan says, I love one, I love Mob Psycho 100, Mob is so cute, I want to give him a plate of fries and pat his head. Aww. <laughs> Mob is great. That entire show is great. I like I, Spy X Family because it's so silly goofy. I'm scared to watch series 2 though. Because like, I'm worried they'll ruin it. Because the first series was just so fucking good, you know? Silly I've been kind of happy to have things end this. Okay, watch Panty and Stocking of Garthadol with me. I've watched a little bit of it before, I don't... Like, too vulgar. I think- I love how it's just like... It's like a parody of, like, American animation, right? Uh-huh. Even down to mistaking for vulg vulgarity for maturity. <laughs> Mid-air just... battle against a duck. Okay, Elena. Uh-huh. Please. It was vulgar in ways that I didn't really find appealing. Okay. 
character designs are cute, though. But, like, the actual substance of it. Care for that. But this level just this keeps is... going. This is such a cool concept. Huh? This section is cool. I see. It just keeps going forever. So you're supposed oh, to be I like... finally found the end of it. That Woody Woodpecker? Oh, he has an item for me now. Why okay, are they wearing around. a nappy? He's incontinent, Bess. Hello. What the f- the, the dog transformed into a boat. That was the worst transformation I've ever seen in my life. I see. gonna happen again. It was really fast that time. <laughs> lake Rocky. Wait, so this island is in a lake? That's a fucking huge lake. <laughs> I have 40 rings now. Where did those come from? I give them to you. Oh, thank you, Beth. The boat with a drill on the front of it. You have to press a button to switch directions. The only control you seem to have. Can't even pause the game. Chances some lakes are big, Beth. Have you ever heard of the Great Lakes, Beth? No. They're basically like... Like ocean. You can't see the other side of the lake from one side. That's a bit disturbing. I think they They're should huge. close those. <laughs> they they drink used to them. be even bigger. They're the remnants of like an extremely massive inland sea that used to exist up in Lake Canada. Um, which, um, at the end of the previous, uh, ice age, an ice dam sort of just instantly burst open and the entire lake drained into the sea. Which is theorized, yeah, right. that's theorized to be where, uh, ancient myths of a, of a worldwide flood come from. Because that would have been so much water so fast it would have basically just instantly flooded a ton of places. I remember, I remember watching a video about that, including the fact that the water probably moved at, like, <sighs> or something like that. It would have yeah, flooded like... the places where people were living and that they would have thought was the entire world, basically. Yeah. Yeah, I was watching a video about that and I was talking about, like, there would have been, like, a, a something like a sonic boom from the dam breaking. <laughs> and then the water, I think, was moving at, like, 70 miles an hour. Which is fun to me, because I like to imagine those modern roads and you could just drive away from it. <laughs> Um, there was, uh, there was an island, uh, to the east of, uh, the UK that used to exist, and that, we you know, people used to live on. And it was swallowed up in that flood. Ah, oh, what's the name of that? What's, which one is that? I forget, but they, we figured out that that happened because... Realized there was an island there because, um, the, the soil under the water there isn't like the rest of the ocean. It's like soil, right? And like tree roots yeah. and stuff. Because it got swallowed up so fast that like it just kind of stayed intact. There's a lot of stuff like that around here. Like, um I was watching some videos about um, an old Welsh myth of like there was actually several myths of like small kingdoms that got swallowed up by the ocean or whatever, right? And there was apparently, like, this idea that the, the sea between the well, Wales and Ireland used to be, like, way more shallow and way more crossable or whatever. 
I see. And then some flooding happened and a lot of places ended up getting like sort of drenched. And then that led to all these rumors and myths or whatever. Yeah, um, I think that it, that's probably where the uh, myth of like Atlantis came from, stuff like that. Yeah. Then also there was Doggerland, which related. is an even older thing, which was the... Doggerland used to be like the, the la like a land bridge of some kind between like France and the UK, basically. Uh -huh. I remember more north than that. I might have also had, like, I might have also touched like Norway or whatever. But it was like that's all gone. The rings are small. They're actual ring size, which is kind of fucked. <laughs> well, maybe in this game Tails is just really big. Oh, I don't like that. Supposed to be a small, cute baby boy. <laughs> I mean, I think it's cute. That you find this little point extra cute. He's supposed to be my son. Aww. <laughs> this is my son, the fox. How would you feel if you want to get into heaven, but your son said, Wow, my head's spinning! <laughs> I'm falling! I'm falling! I just love that he says that while going around loops. <laughs> <laughs> He's skilled enough to clear the loop, but not like confident <laughs> enough to like that thing. So funny. My I favorite love thing. Tales. Is, I love when you just spam the fly. And just like he's like wee 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 wee. There's a YouTuber I've watched a little bit recently, and I stopped yeah. watching them because I noticed they had a video that was just like, why I think Sonic Heroes sucks. Or like, why it's the worst Sonic game. I was oh, like, oh can no. I, can I see the video? I want to see the video. They're called Paper Dawn. Oh. Oh yeah, this is only Tails. This is Tails Adventure. Although the title screen calls it Tails Adventures for some reason. You very just want adventure. <laughs> he goes on one adventure, okay? Well, he goes on adventures in these different places. Each location he goes to is its own adventure. I don't know if I say that. That feels a bit silly to me. This game is older than Sonic Adventure, right? Yes. Tails had his adventure first. I'm put that, put that in your butt and fart at. I'm gonna destroy you. <laughs> what kind of adventure do you want to go on, Chan? I want to go on an adventure. Where I gain a new rival, who are, who who I have a lot of animosity with and butt heads, but by the end of the adventure we do a little bit of a kiss. That's just your relationship with Errol. Summarized. Yeah. We've already I can have done more that. than. Yeah, but I can do it. Well, if Arrow is the Piccolo, I can have a Vegeta. <laughs> Piccolo and Vegeta kind of sound like penis and vagina in this context. Looks into the camera like I'm on the office. <laughs> oh, Biss, you have to see my new favorite video of all time. Oh, oh see, Shan was about to say the same thing. Oh. Okay, let me, miss, let me show you what I think is the greatest video of all time. I'll play, I'll play the audio of it. Doing a fusion Chinese Mexican dish. Chinese Where's the Chinese in this? Isn't like fish kind of Chinese? Is fish Chinese? <laughs> I'm gonna go home and curl up in a small ball on my couch and call some friends. 
to see if anybody will come over and just hold me. Let me know when you watch this, Beth. Okay, three, two, one, go. A fusion Chinese. Oh, wait, Mexican I expressed the wrong video. Where's the Chinese? No. Okay, three, two, one. One, go. Good a fusion Chinese Mexican dish. Where's the Chinese in this? Isn't like fish kind of Chinese? Is fish Chinese? <laughs> I'm gonna go home and curl up in a small ball on my couch and call some friends to see if anybody will come over and just hold me. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that incredible? I said if you I said if you cosplay Vegeta it'd be incredible, Shan. It'd be oh I'm like the great. Elena! Okay, so for people who didn't- wait, did the clip play on stream? I played the people audio. It's like they- Like, if it was Japanese, then I'd go, well, it's, you know, it's an island, there's a lot of seafood, or whatever, Maybe right? they're thinking sushi. No. Yeah, well, if they're- th yeah, well, th at that point, it's like... <laughs> there's so many places that eat fish! What I know! What is wrong with them? It's funny, generally people eat fish um, near the ocean. Fish chainy. I got the mine. When do I get the craft? I'm no, sorry, sorry, uh, Abby, there's no Sonic in this game. There's only Tails' as robot dog. <laughs> You know what I fucking love? I once saw a post on I once saw a post somewhere. I can't remember the context, right? Uh-huh. But it was just a picture of like Sonic and Tails. And for some reason it was just like captioned something like Sonic and his dog. I don't know why I keep thinking you're about to say <laughs> something like genital related, but I thought you were about to say Sonic and his dick. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Good night, everybody. <laughs> yeah, it just amused me the idea that like somebody would look at like two animal, two like anthropomorphic animals, right? And just be like, oh yeah, yeah you know, Sonic. Yeah, it's like he has a dog, right? <laughs> <laughs> he has this... That's his dog. <laughs> this is Dunkleosteus. That's his Dunkley Osterix. <laughs> Please don't bring that shit up again. I am bringing that shit up again. I'm bringing up Dunkley oh. Osterix. Flying potato! No! Want to pet Dunkley Osterix? I want to pet Dunkley Osterix. Well, first they'd have to be... they'd have to be alive. Presumably, unless you just want the fossil as a pet. And if you wanted the fossil as a pet, it would just be its head, because that's all it fossilizes. You just it, all, you just all that fossilized. You drill a little hole on the side of their lip and like hook a cord through so you can take them for a walk. And you just drag the entire skull around the. Because we're not exactly certain about the shape of the rest of their body. Weirdly enough. Uh, appar apparently recent evidence has shown that they were probably not very long, which I like. <laughs> it's funny. Because, like, originally people assumed it would be, like, you know, sort of, like, great white <laughs> sort of proportions. Isn't but now it looks more bite? like it was just... Yeah, now it's just now it's a, a round big goldfish. Bite? Just a fucking armored goldfish, yeah. All the all the people who do like paleontology memes were laughing that the Dunkel orb is real. <laughs> the or whatever. Dunkel orb. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if I showed you my Dunkel orb and we were both girls? I would please respond. <laughs> I saw a comic the other day saying, uh, it was, uh, this this girl, I think, who was, like, they were, they were like, maybe, maybe this person is bi, 
Like, I don't know why you're assuming that, that they're not. And then the other person was like... Was like, something like 90% of people are straight. And they were like, no. That can't be right. Wait. So they were doubting somebody was bi because 90% of people are straight? Yeah. Okay, the, the, well... the one character was like... Like, I don't know, maybe they're bi? How, like... Like, how come you're just assuming that they're straight? Like, because 90% of people are straight. And we're like, no. It can't be true. God. Could you imagine running into 1 in 10 people? Impossible. <laughs> also, Shan, this game wouldn't have been on a CRT. This is a game gear game. Um, people in the comments are saying it's more like 90% of people don't feel comfortable putting anything else on, like, census things. Mm. Or yeah, otherwise have been unable to explore thing in that regard. However, this, the Game Gear screen, as Biss has pointed out, um... Had a ton of ghosting. So it probably also that probably also smoothened out the water. Yeah, it was ghost central. Terrible screen on that fucking thing, honestly. Yeah, they got bad news. What? I want din dins. Day palm bomb. What? <laughs> Tails, no. Day palm bomb. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, excuse oh, me! Oh, oh, no! Tails is going to commit war crimes real? No! Not clickbait. <laughs> it looks like a freaking nuke, by the way. It's not it's not a cartoon bomb like the other ones he has. It's like a realistic bomb. He's leveling up. Oh my god. What the fuck do you mean, napalm bomb? I'm putting that in the thumbnail. Tails holding up napalm bomb. <laughs> oh god, where's my phone? I can't believe that. I kind of wanted to go and play that one song everybody associates with Vietnam, but I feel like that'd be kind of bad taste. And also, did we get his copyright claimed? What the uh, fuck is this? Well, thing? I was go I was going to be mole. screeching over in Tails' voice, so to fine. Remember Heavy Mole? Oh my god! Remember Heavy Mole? This is them now. Feel old yet? I I have a feeling I'm not doing any damage to this thing. Maybe you need the napalm bomb. We're about a game over. Continue. The the issue is I don't know what my password is. Maybe or maybe it's also set it to where it needs to be because it's okay. Never mind. Um, have I just screwed myself out of all of my progress? Because oh. I saved here, thinking that I could beat it? Well, you can just remember the password next- oh. How oh. can I remember the password? Because I can't see the password. You have, you have to go back home to oh. see that. And then I don't know how to get out of that menu anyway. Let me look up how to beat them. Oh, you're literally the worst cooking. <laughs> oh my god, no, I, I can't handle what I just saw. Um, Tails Adventure, all bosses. Uh oh. You had to look up what a Game Gear even was. Oh. I've seen them in person, they're really big. No, it looks like you just put bombs on their head. 
Really? There's no indication yeah, that that's damaging him. Oh, there's a sound effect that you're not fucking hearing because your stream setup is piss. Wait, I can just sit up here and I'm safe forever. Telltale tail stops flying up there. I think you've got to like hit the like head. Yeah, there, there we go. Oh my god! I do not like the look of that pilot. This is a really interesting boss. By interesting, you mean shit, then, sure. Let's, let's, let's shut the fuck up, Elena. I will not. Stop being fucking mean. Stop being so fucking nasty, fucking judging other people's bosses. Somebody put their love. They can judge sweat my boss if they want to. What? They can judge my bosses if they want to. Okay, I'm gonna. Your bosses stink. No, poop. you, not you. The people who made this boss. I made this boss. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Prove it. You made this boss at the age of like two. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, the game gear did not do well. It it was it 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 it, it tanked pretty bad. I think it did pretty well in the U.S. Nobody knows about the game here. Here, probably probably did better off in South America as well. But like, yeah, did okay Maybe? in Japan, I think. Speaking of video games in Japan, I always think it's extremely funny that the Xbox sells so terribly there. <laughs> like, there's been times yeah. where it has had, like, double-digit sales in a month. It's just r remarkable. That is pretty funny. You know what else is funny, though? When I put a candy coin in corn, um... Between your hair follicles. Already filled with candy corn. Oh, well now you're also covered in it. Um, well actually, like... That's- uh, okay, so in the home market, that's not- Okay, so at least in the UK... That's not true, Sham. Like... Uh. Well, it's hard to say- okay, it's hard to say, because the thing is, is that Europe... Had a lot of its own, like, homegrown scene, right? You know, um, so that got in the way of stuff. Nintendo did, did, okay, so at least on the home console front for like the early, like 80s and early 90s, Nintendo was at a disadvantage because they weren't distributing their stuff themselves. So basically you could only buy off-brand NESs and they were like made by several different manufacturers, right? So for the NES and Super NES era, uh, Nintendo did pretty badly in, I think, the UK, and I think the rest of Europe, right? Um, so I think in the home console market, Sega did relatively well on Western Europe as a general thing. Um, but honestly, they didn't do anywhere, they didn't do well anywhere other, other, other than Japan, post, like, Mega Drive. I know by the time I was a kid, uh, Sega was doing incredibly poorly. US, um, because I didn't even know Sega had consoles when I was a kid, even though the Dreamcast existed. It was never, ever advertised. Never once saw it, but I knew about the GameCube. I knew about the Nintendo 64. I knew about the Xbox. I knew about the PlayStation. You know? Well, but I think by the Dreamcast time the Xbox hit the scene, all of those. The, the Dreamcast was basically story dead, like... Well, yeah, well, they existed at the same time, at least for a while. Like, yeah, but, like, writing on the wall, you know? Yeah. There was no, like, there was no advertising. I never grew up knowing anybody who knew that the Dreamcast existed. Nothing. You know, we would have been, uh, we would have been the kids that they were, uh, trying to market it to. I actually think I, I, you know what? I think I had one friend who had it actually. Because I have vague memories of the VMU from a child.
But I don't know if those are real memories or not. Like, I don't know if I just filled that in with something else, you know? Mm hmm. I have just found the best fucking Tumblr account. I don't I have know to how show to fight this guy. He won't leave me alone. Let me let me see what they do. After. The first the first yeah. phase is very easy. Like. Looks like it involves like handling their position, like tempting them to walk back, and then using the space. Like, it's too hard to get away from the hand and the bombs that it drops. Well, the thing is, is what they're doing... One or is the other. What they're doing is they'll stand behind it to tempt it to walk as far back as they can, then fly back over, then they've got like a load of play space to avoid the bombs that are dropping and throw their own bombs while jumping. This doesn't work. I'm seeing it work! It's not working I'm... for me! SEB. Skill issue. I'm gonna give you a skill issue tomorrow morning. <laughs> Aww, thank you, Sean. That means Aww. a lot. What do you like about listening to us, Shan? I don't know if I'm allowed to ask somebody to elaborate on a compliment. There you go. I wanna know what we're doing well so I can keep doing it. I always think I'm a stinky poop. Oh, stinky poop letter? Stinky poop letter? Mm -hmm. I feel right now. That's that exact sound. Why is its hand like that, though? Why does it take so goddamn many hits? Because it's an armored machine. It's an armored machine, man. The machine is armored! <laughs> and says we are their pals. They have nice voices to listen to. Well, I think you, Shan. Oh, but so. there's noises. I like being your pal, Shan. Jen, are you looking forward to me streaming building the bug Lego set? Oh yeah, Biss, you wanna know something I found out last night? What? I was looking around at the bug Lego set somewhere, right? And I noticed Lego had this big advertisement for a new set called Play With Braille, right? Yeah. Um, where they made these special bricks where the studs on them are just in the shape of braille letters. Right? Yeah. Um, which is kind of interesting. Um... But that's it. Right? There's no set you build, nothing, it's just, it's just the braille bricks. That's it. Mm-hmm. And some base plates to put them on. Um, it's 287 pieces. Um, the bug set that I was looking at is 1,111 pieces. Um, costs eighty dollars, right? The yeah. pri pr price per part ratio is about seven cents, and the the golden standard for uh, price per part ratio with Lego sets is about ten cents per part. So the set has really good value because it's less than that, right? 
Yeah. Um, the most recent, like I said, I got is um, that little slushy truck one. Um, and it's twenty dollars, and it was uh, ten cents per part. So that one's just perfectly average, right? Good, good value, like I said. Um, this braille set has 287 pieces, right? Mm -hmm. It's $90. Which gives it a price per part ratio of 31 cents. Three times where it should be. This? Yeah? Are you listening? Oh yeah, sorry, I was just thinking about a dream I had last night. Uh Shut up. I should I'm allowed to remember the dreams I had, okay? <laughs> but I really wanted to get your reaction to this. Reaction to what? Ah! <laughs> the Lego thing. Wait, what, what about Lego? <laughs> you didn't listen to a thing I just said. I was I was remembering something important. Okay, I'll start over. So I was looking at the bug set again, right? Okay. Um, and I noticed on the page, Lego had advertised um, a set called Play With Braille, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Um, it's just Lego pieces, and the studs on them are just shaped like the, the Braille letters, right? Yeah. Instead of having the eight studs on them. Um, so it's kind of a simple concept, right? Um, it's just kind of a way that makes it easy to write words out of Braille, right? Because you have, yeah. like, the individual pieces. Um, so it's just those letters, and then some base plates to put them on. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. And it, it has 287 pieces. Um, the bug Lego set that I'm planning to get has 1,111 pieces, and it costs, what? um, $80, right? Oh, yeah. Um... The gold standard for price to part ratio on a Lego set, like what you always want to see in a Lego set, is ten cents per piece, right? Mm. Um, yeah. But the bug set, it's even better than that. It's seven cents <clears throat> per piece, so it's a really good value for that set. Ooh, good. Um, yeah. The Lego set that we most recently got, that little slushy truck, if you remember that, that one is ten cents. That one was twenty dollars, and it's ten cents per part, so that one was perfect, right? So I it's perfectly reasonable value. Um, so. Given, given this information, how much would you expect um, the Play With Braille set to be? Considering it's oh. only plain bricks, there's not even any set that you build. It's just like a little play set for children <clears throat> to learn yeah. Braille, right? How much would you expect mm. that to be? A Braille, a, a Braille play set would be... £50? Pounds? Okay. Do you know how much it actually is? How much? $90. <sighs> which gives it a price per part ratio of 31 cents per piece. So three times yeah. as much as, as you want to see. Is it, so this is, is like the worst the value of a Lego set I've ever seen. Is it just, just because the parts are varied or something weird like well, that? Well, they're like... all printed. They all have the letter that oh. they're supposed to be printed on them. And they're all brand new molds, of course, because they're missing studs that they normally would have. But at that price, it completely defeats the purpose. Fucking incredible. Right? It becomes like the least valuable Lego set ever, right? Like the way, uh, the most overpriced Lego set ever. Jesus. Yeah, like there is some value in it in that it makes it really easy to write braille words, you know, because they're Lego pieces and so you can just put them in a row or whatever. But yeah. the fact that it's so expensive, it's like how how accessible? You know? <laughs> it should have been pretty inexpensive, I think, for it to work as the tool it's meant to be. You know? Yeah. Because there's, there's oh. so little going on here. It's just plain bricks, no set to build, nothing. You know? This just reminded me of something really annoying I found out about. Uh-huh. There's a style of text that somebody's come up with, which is, like, super easy to read for a lot of people with a lot of different conditions. Um, I think... Oh, is it the I one think... that's really good for people with dyslexia? 
I think that was it. Yeah, it was basically the first few letters of a word are in bold, right? And then it gets less bold as the word goes on, right? Only the problem is it's already been fucking patented by some scum. Oh yeah, the, the dyslexic friendly font that I know about um, is also paywalled. Because, like, I, know, like, I wanted to try it because I'm kind of dyslexic, and it would probably yeah. help me. Um, but I can't install it on my computer because you have to pay for it. Pathetic. We should find the people responsible and smack their bum bums until they die. I think it's just called dyslexia or something like that. I get, my, dys I get my dyslexia from my mom. <laughs> Imagine how much it hurts to, like, fall onto those fingers. Jan wants to see the napalm bomb. If I can ever beat this thing, we can go equip it. Yeah, Elena may have just ruined the entire run. What do you mean, ruin the entire run? You, 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 you saw that it can be beaten with just the bombs. Let me go, let me just quickly go check something. I'm gonna yeah, save, and also they, st they start the fight with 15 point. rings, so they can, yeah. I'm starting at this point. Yeah, I'm really pissed off about this braille set. It seems so ill-conceived. Like, it's like... I don't... Like, I can see how they came up with it, but I don't know how I got all the way through to production. And also that they're, like, really proud of it, and it's, like, advertised at the top of the screen all the time. It's not out yet, by the way. It's just available for pre-orders now. So... Something, isn't that? Yeah... I don't know if I'm damaging him, but then... It takes so many hits, I don't understand. Why? Who thought it, was, it, it needed this many hits? Uh, somebody in the 90s, I think. They should make it so that if they hit themselves with their own bomb, it does a, a quintillion damage. No friendly fire in this game. Wait, the hand smack hurts you even when you're flying? Yeah. Wait. But, wait, the person I was watching never takes any damage. But that move just looks like it would hurt you no matter where you were. Oh, let me look into the shit. Let me look into the stuff and figure it out for you. He's... well, he like completely backed off the screen. I think I finally killed him. Nice. Anti-air missile? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I love, Why I is Tails, Tails just picking up military paraphernalia? I love Tails lifting them. He's overhead with a, like the look of glee on his face, like he's fucking Astro Boy. Oh gosh! I got the anti-air missile. No, <laughs> no, he just looks like such a goober. Oh okay, well God, now that's... what the fuck do I do? Well, first things first, let's see the fucking napalm bomb, please. <laughs> the, the napalm bomb. Napalm bomb, there it is. I don't need knuckles. Yeah, Sorry, knuckles, knuckles. Is, is, is nearly useless. This is the radio. Wait, the radio? It's not a radio, it's a radio. 
<laughs> Where's the mine and the anti-air missile? I get. I assumed those are for the boat, but how do I put them on the boat? Let's get the speed shoes instead. Knuckles is cool, it's just that Tails doesn't punch very well, and the Knuckles item just lets you punch. Ah, uh, there's an equip menu for the boat. Vulcan gun. Anti-air missile. And mine. Jeez, Tails. Well, because Knuckles just gives Tails a pathetic little punch that is completely useless. Oh yeah, Biss, did you ever hear back from customer service on the, the thingy butt for Sasha's birthday? Oh, I couldn't figure out how to contact them. Oh no. That's no good. That's no good. Let's just go and check the status of it again. It shipped. <gasps> two it hours shipped? ago. Oh my god. Yeah. Your gift has shipped two hours ago, so I said. <laughs> it is en route. En route. And I know what it is now. I know you're gonna like it. <laughs> I think Biss was underselling it. I think you'll like it a lot. It's DHL delivering it. Cool. Wait. What? Excuse me? I need pieces of Nochi. It is estimated to arrive in a week! Oh. What the fuck do you Sasha, fucking mean? Sasha, this says it's estimated to arrive in a week. <laughs> he just made the most pain sound. It's in fucking Florida! But it's... it's coming from Florida. It's coming from it's... Florida. It's the smallest fucking item ever. Why is it <laughs> taking a week? Why is it taking a week? Because it's coming all the way from Florida. <sighs> but what the what is, frick? They just have is, a warship. Look, no wonder I was getting all these bombs and shit. I don't know if I'm damaging it at all, or what. Well, maybe it's good sound that would help. <laughs> Working. Ah, oh, mine's go down. You're gonna have to look up this boss fight for me too, I think. And since they're rooting for the dot. Oh, it is working, short of sound so you can't hear the hit noise. Oh, okay. This is what I'm supposed to be doing? Yeah. Spamming. What is with bosses yeah. in this game and having just absolutely absurd amounts of health? After this, I probably have to end the stream, because Sush and I gotta go for a walk. Oh. Go soon before it starts getting dark. 
<laughs> Before it starts getting dork. Tail should become a duck. Tail's the two-tailed duck. Tail should become duck. I'm obsessed with that Vocaloid song where they sing about all the kinds of dogs at the moment. I hate the I fact that thinking about it. is included. It's a kind of dog. Shouldn't be. Also, yeah, speaking of the ghosting effect, see how the surface of the water is done? It probably only looks right on the Game Gear screen with the ghosting. Yeah. We're going to Green Island. Grylands. Imagine if it just looked exactly Grylands. like Green Hill's end. I'll play this level for a little bit and then. Oh, this is just the forest sprite set again, but not burning. Alright, let's see the napalm bomb, shall we? The fire has calcified. Oh my sins. god. It really. Look! <laughs> now Tails is gonna be the one sitting with. Oh, what was that? What was that little man I just killed? <laughs> I just. I just carpet bombed. I just napalm them. Tails is committing is war crimes in this game. Napalm's like the stuff that burns and sticks to skin, right? Yeah. <laughs> Napalm's what? the nasty stuff. Yeah, just Alina. fuck this up. Alina, you fucking dumbo. Okay, I can just load my save. Alina, you bloody wazzle. Don't, don't worry, miss. I can just load my save. Wait, can I kill the beehive with a napalm? No. Words that I never thought a freaking Tails game would make come out of my mouth. <laughs> We Who's should make tails of it. Imagine if at Sage one day there was like a Tales Adventure 2. <laughs> and the final item you get is just the nuke. <laughs> the Moab. The Moab? Yeah, the mother of all bombs. <laughs> you know, I still fucked it up. I'm so smart, Beth. Such a smart and talented girl. Everybody watches me because I'm so smart and clever and talented. And the last one's true. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm not talented at all. Yes, you are stinky. What talent do I even have? Um, everything, like, all your creative stuff is talent. No, 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 I'm not that great. Alina, I suck wouldn't call my it entire talent. ass. Ah! Are your hell is answered. Just a tiny duck. Why are they so small? Haha, <laughs> why are you so small? <laughs> Bit of running animation. Shan says Tails is strolling. Kinda of walks like a duck. Really is strolling. I just name palmed those bees. Whoever named the napalm bomb clearly hadn't talked to the whoever tried to name uh, Genocide City Zone. I really wish. Uh huh. I really wish Breaking Bad was the exact same show, except instead of meth, Walter White makes nukes. Oh, yeah, you've said that before. <laughs> Which, like, it'd be really funny. He teams up with, like, just some random, like, random, like, 
junky uh, meth cook was like, You ever make, you ever make a nuke? <laughs> Oh, all right, well, we'll call it good there for now. And I like the idea that it's, like, the exact same show and everything's the same, right? Except every single time you see, like, a bag of meth, it's instead just, like, a little, a tiny little nuke. <laughs> and whenever, like, on random scenes, you can share oh. just an explosion. <laughs> tiny little nuke explosion. Oh. So this game is taking place on Coco Island. Hmm. My data and ranking. I'm, like you can see my best time. Some of them I did faster with Amy. That's kind of incredible. That is kind of incredible since none of her abilities make her any faster. Make her Freddy faster. Freddy faster, bear. <laughs> Who do you think is the f what? What kind of bear do you think is faster than Freddy? Um. Well, Freddy is a. Uh, but he is, is the is fast a, is, bear. Well, no, he isn't a fast bear. He's a faz bear, which is very different. He's a fast bear. There's gray area coming soon. Faster means aunt on your father's side. I know you know. I hope everybody's excited for gray area. It's coming soon. We're I'm just finishing it up now. Are. How excited. Very. <laughs> Are you excited for Grey Area, Abby? I know you've played it before. Beta. But, uh, hope you're excited to get to see the whole game. It's a long last. But yeah, I will be back tomorrow probably for more streams. I haven't decided what I'm gonna play. Probably Bookworm. Um, and maybe Super Mario Advance Fire. So we'll see uh, what I feel like. <laughs> and otherwise, we'll be back on Sunday and we'll play more Tales Adventure. Yeah, and then we'll hopefully finish Tales Adventure at some point, which would be great because um. Then I think we'd be done with uh, would be done with Sonic Origins. Got to play Sonic then... Labyrinth. Oh, Elena, Elena, look over there. Huh? Look over where? Oh, they just left the call. <laughs> I don't think they want to stream Sonic Labyrinth with me. Um, but anyway, thank you everybody. I'll be back tomorrow. See you soon. Bye-bye.